So the kind of complex fluid I'm going to talk about uh, today is something we've been developing at Carnegie Mellon. It's a nanoparticle polymer brush. We can engineer the composition of these polymer brushes to adapt these nanoparticles to different kinds of technological purposes. Many military and former industrial sites have a problem with pollution by chlorinated solvents such as trichloroethylene. Uh, these solvents are quite toxic and if they spilled, since they're denser in water, they tend to migrate down through the groundwater and then they eventually accumulate in underground pools. And we decided to take the treatment agent, which would be an iron nanoparticle, and we wanted to turn it into one of these nanoparticle polymer brushes. Now you can't just inject iron nanoparticles into the groundwater and hope it will accumulate at the pollutant pool. These particles would just get filtered out and they would never reach the pollutant if we didn't modify them in some way. So with Chris Matuszewski, we designed some polymer brushes to coat these iron particles with, and these polymer brushes would cause the particles to repel each other so they don't clump, and they would also cause the particles to repel the pore walls so they don't get filtered out as they're flowing through the groundwater. In developing this groundwater remediation technology, the first thing we had to do was to prove to ourselves that these nanoparticles really were accumulating at the surface, the interface between the pollutant and the water. So we did this very simple test. We made a mixture of our chlorinated solvent and water. In the water, we put just a small amount of our nanoparticles and simply shook them up and we found that they made a very stable emulsion, which proved to us that these nanoparticles were adhering to the oil water interface as we intended them to do. What impressed us about these very simple experiments was that the emulsions we prepared were extremely stable. They lasted for over a year without separating into oil and water. Now at face value, this might not seem to be so impressive, because we all encounter common emulsions in our everyday lives, like the lotions we have in our medicine cabinets. These are emulsions, they're oil and water, they stay stable for several years. Now the key is that those emulsions that are stable for years are about 10 to 20 percent emulsifier. Our emulsions were stable for about a year using 0.05 percent nanoparticles as emulsifiers. So we were able to make emulsions using about 200 to 400 times less emulsifier than it would normally be required to make such a stable emulsion. Uh, we started developing different kinds of nanoparticle polymer brushes to see if we could make emulsifiers that were even more efficient. And we found that we were able to decrease the concentration of our nanoparticle emulsifiers by about another factor of five or so. So we could make emulsions using 1,000 to 2,000 times less emulsifier than would normally be required to make any kind of emulsion that we want to prepare, whether it's a lotion, whether it's a machining fluid, or whether it's a lubricant.